Good morning to you, everyone. I want to bring some some good news to you this morning. I want to talk a little bit about our schedule, things that are coming up, and I want to offer a little bit about the message and worship we're having this Sunday. We'll start with a word of prayer. You can bow now or you can just take this time when you have a chance a little bit later in your day. But here's what the common book of prayer gives us today. It says, Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, this week has been an unusual week. It has been extraordinary. It has been busy, but it has been joyful. It has been wonderful uh, to do uh, work for others. Uh, I know there's been a lot of tragedy. We've seen floods and the hurricane. Everything coming up here and disturbing uh, the, the peace that we enjoy so much. But um, I do want to tell you that, that God's grace is with us, his power is with us, and his love is with us as we try and help those around us. And when we're talking about some of our upcoming events, you can see behind me the lights in the gym that they're on. People are down there right now. They're sorting, they're preparing, um, they're getting things ready for when we get loads, when we ship things out to our community and outlying communities. So there's a lot of things that are going on there, and you'll just be aware of that. And that way, um, when the remind may come out from time to time that we need some help, that you'll be able to do that and come in and help us load or unload. So I want to bring that to your attention. A few other dates I want to give you. October 16th, we have MomCo. That's this coming Wednesday. So you can invite someone to that and uh, some people who or some moms who may need uh, some connection, uh, some friendship, things like that, you can bring them on board. Let them come. We have an open invitation for them. Also, we're stretching out just a little bit further. Our fish fry is October 26th. This Sunday, we should have tickets available, ready to sell, so you can look forward to that. And then, of course, trunk or treat on the 31st. There'll be a little bit more information about that as it becomes available, but we'll want to make sure that we're involved with that. Now, as far as my sermon goes, and uh, this week is a little bit shorter just because there's so much to do, I do want to talk about uh, what I'm going to be preaching on, the text, a little bit of homework for you, and that way you can prepare. So here is the sermon. The title is, I Do Declare. Sounds a little bit Southern, and it is. It's meant to be. But I'm using the text from Psalm 19, 11, where God declares certain things. And uh, this is about God's glory. And so what I want you to do between now and Sunday, read Psalm 18, 19, and 20. And then you can meditate on that for just a few minutes. And then the text, I want you to think about this. The text gives us two, two areas, two places, two, two ways where we can see his glory. And I want you to find them both. You can look to verse 1 and verse 7 as kind of a hint for that. That'll help you look. Now, with these two, once you locate them, I'm just curious where you look more often to see God's glory. So look at that and notice that. And then lastly, how can you be a part of the solution where, where people can see it, where people can see God's glory more often because there is a way. There is a way that you can actually manifest God's glory, not through what you do, but how God has given to us, portioned to us ways to do that. So you can think about that. And when you come on Sunday, you know, begin that preparation now. Pray about who will be here, the needs that we're going to have, and the people that we're going to meet. And lift that up in your prayers. Meditate on it. Come prepared to worship. Come expecting. I hope to see you all there. I want to see some of, some of our visitors. If they come, you can introduce me then. And when we arrive, it'll be a joyful day in the Lord. So I hope you have a blessed week. And I'm going to get back to work down there in the gym. So God bless you all. And have a great day. Bye-bye.